Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys this tutorial is uh, gonna teach you how to use favicons. Now the first question that may come up in your mind is what exactly are favicons? Uh, what I'll do is uh, let me show you something. Okay, guys let me open up a website which is uh, favicon.cc right and uh, okay guys what you see out here in the address bar and out here as well where you see the title okay this image which is uh, f.cc is actually the favicon the small icon is the favicon all right so that's the favicon and uh, we'll see how we can actually make a favicon for your website right okay now guys I have a slide chart here that has been uh, done in uh, Microsoft PowerPoint let me run it for you and let's understand some concepts of making a favicon so that's F5 and guys the format for the favic favicons um, usually is a PNG GIF or an ICO preferred is ICO and uh, the size is 16 by 16 or sometimes 32 by 32 as well but again um, most commonly used size recommended size 16 by 16 guys okay let's move on to the next slide okay some some people think that ICO is the only format uh, that's used although it's popular that's not the only format that's used you can use an ICO GIF PNG JPG and uh, something more too but again uh, ICO dot ICO is the most preferred uh, format okay now guys what is the HTML code to insert the favicon first of all let's understand that the the link tag which is used to uh, you know create the code or insert the favicon is always used in the head of the the HTML document guys and this is the code in front of you so we have this relationship attribute we have the opening link tag out here the relationship attribute okay which says that uh, we'll be using a shortcut icon and then we use an href attribute which tells the name of the favicon being used okay and then we have the type which uh, and uh, guys this x icon will get replaced by a png or a gif just in case you're not using the ico file right so this is the format okay and uh, once again the link tag should be placed in the head of your document okay that's extremely important right so let's get going guys and uh, my advice for selecting the best size in the format begin with a square Im image of any size and uh, use it to generate a 16 by 16 pixel favicon in an ICO format so that's recommended 16 by 16 16 uh, pixels uh, ICO format right so let's get started guys uh, let me close up this uh, PowerPoint slideshow let me open up dream viewer for you and uh, we'll be we'll be creating a favicon right so guys I'm gonna hit on this create new HTML button I'm using Adobe dream viewer CS 5.5 and uh, the doc type right now is XHTML one transition I'm gonna change that let's see how we can actually do that and I want to say file I'm gonna say uh, convert and then HTML5 very simple doc type guys easy to remember okay especially like to work in this uh, doc type let me give it a title let me call it favicon right let me save the file up let me call it uh, favicon2 right -o. okay guys uh, let me dig inside my local site folder now this is my local site folder let me go inside the images folder okay now guys I already have made a favicon ICO file okay and you can look out here that the, the dimensions are 16 by 16 uh, pixels all right I'm gonna use it as a favicon now let's see how we can actually do that but first uh, let me show you how I actually made that guys you can you could have used a power you know something like a, a fireworks or uh, something like a Photoshop to do that and uh, maybe a fireworks won't give you an option to save it in the ICO format but you have a lot of uh, online uh, you know converters you can just search for online converters that will convert your gif or a png into a ico file and there are so many out there okay now i especially would want to mention this website which is favicon.cc uh, i'll tell you why it is 
an ICO generator and uh, it does things in minutes. It's so simple to use. See, all you need to do is, this is your canvas, guys. This is your stage of the area where you can actually draw a favicon. Okay. Then, uh, after you've actually drawn it, you can download it and, uh, and you can use it. It's so simple, actually. See, the first thing that you need to do is you need to choose a color. Let's say this color. And uh, after that, let me just draw a favicon for you. Okay. So, just about anything, guys. And as I'm drawing out here, you can have a look out here that the default favicon, which was showing up out here, uh, has actually changed depending on what I'm actually drawing here, depending on the colors and what, what I'm actually drawing here. That's lovely. Okay, not only that, guys, if you have a look out here in the preview window, it's, it's showing up out here as well. Okay, you have an option to download the favicon out here too. Right. Now let me change the color to a different color. Let me uh, actually. I'm just trying to trying to draw the letter edge. I, I'll tell you why I use the word trying to because I'm simply not an artist. I'm, I'm very bad at that. I've always been very bad at that. Okay, I'm changing the color to a different color, and uh, and I'm attempting to draw the letter edge simply because uh, it's linear, very easy to draw. Okay, so my skills are really not tested. Right over. I'm gonna use the last used color. Right. Okay, so there you go. Alright. Let's have a look out here in the preview window, guys. Uh this is how it actually looks like right now. Okay. And you can uh, check it up in the preview window as well, guys. After you're actually done making it, guys. Uh, yeah, but before I actually save it, let me show you something. You can actually check this out here. And you can, you know, you remove parts of it like this. Let me redraw it. Not only that, you, you have an option to move it as well. I'll show it to you this way. All right, so it's a great, great application. Favicon.cc. I highly recommend it, guys. Okay, so after you're actually done, what you can do is you can click on this download favicon button. Okay, you can even create uh, an animated favicon, guys. Okay, you, you have uh, some options out here to do that. Okay, you, you can check it yourself. Uh, it's self explanatory. I'm not going to go into the details of all this. Okay, so once you've actually created a favicon, guys, you can download the favicon and you can use it. And let's see how we can actually use it. Let me get back to Tree Weaver. Okay, guys. Uh, let me go back inside my local site folder, my site, and uh, this is the favicon that I created using favicon.cc website. Okay, I'm going to use it uh, inside Dreamweaver. Let's see how that was made possible. Now, guys, if you remember, I, I clearly said that the favicon uh, code, the link tag that's responsible for creating the, or showing the favicon up, should be used inside the head of the document. Okay, this is the opening head tag, this is the closing head tag. I'm placing it just above the title, guys. I'm going to say link. Okay, then I'm going to use the <coughs> relationship uh, attribute and I'm going to say the relationship is a shortcut icon. There you go. There it is. Okay, I'm going to give a space. I'm going to say type and the type is, guys, image forward slash x icon but guys uh, if it were not a favic you know an ico file you could have used a png or a gif out here as well that's fine and the third attribute that i would want to use is uh the href okay the href attribute let me browse for the favicon image so the favicon.ico 16 by 16 file is inside my images folder, which is inside my local site folder. Let me close the tag up, guys. Okay. Yep. So I should be done now. In fact, uh, let me save and take a preview. Let me say fire and a save. Now let's take a preview. Let's say a Firefox. And uh, you can see that we have a favicon showing up out here and out here as well. Let me show you something else. Where where else can you actually see the favicon? Guys, this is Google Chrome. And if I were to go inside my bookmarks, you can see that the favicon shows out here as well. Right. Okay. So, guys, it's pretty simple to make using the website uh, favicon.cc. 
And uh, there are other freebies that you can get from uh, filehippo.com that will help you create a Fabicon. You can do it in Photoshop or uh, a Fireworks as well. Maybe you won't get the option to save it, save it as an ICO file, but you have online converters to do that. Uh, you can give it a try. All right. So a very simple task, guys, really. Okay. So I hope you learned something from this uh, tutorial, guys. And I hope to see you very soon with yet another uh, Reweaver tutorial. Or it could be Flash with ActionScript 3. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.